All right, welcome to the Quetzal Harvesting Platform Saddle Build. Let's get right to it. So to get started, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and set up a foundation of 2x2. Two two. Now it's very important that we do start with thatch foundation as it does function slightly differently than the metal foundation which I would recommend using in the final build. But we start by setting up a 2x2 two two square of the thatch here. And what we're going to want to do is go ahead and set it a little bit back from the front of the saddle and it is straight as we can set it up here. Um, the reason that we're going to have to replace the thatch you'll see up in a little bit here is we're not able to place walls on the side of metal foundations. This is very important for this build to function. So let's go ahead and get that first foundation set up and check out. It looks like it's pretty straight here. It's a little angled, but just for a build video here, I'm going to go ahead and leave that how it is. So let's go ahead and get another couple placed down here and create our square that we're going to be using. Go ahead and check it out. It does look pretty good there. And the reason that I have that foundation set back just a little bit so that we can easily hop on to the Quetzal itself get that ride ability without anything in our way so what we're going to want to do now as you can see here we're able to place a wall onto the side of the thatch foundation and that's what we're going to want to do here on whichever side you want the saddle to actually be now I'll show you here, if we place a metal foundation, we're not actually able to place a wall onto the side of that metal foundation. And that's why we start with the thatch foundations, which we will later all replace. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to place two walls down. Now with these walls, you can use walls that you would like to break. So thatch walls would be good, especially for this, the second one here, as we're just using it so we can place a ceiling onto that level. So what we're going to do here is once we've got that place, we're going to go ahead and throw a ceiling up onto the side. And we're going to go ahead and just place two out for the platform there. And then we can go ahead and delete this metal wall as we won't need it anymore. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and add our hatch frame right on here. And the reason we do this so early is so that the gate for the hatch frame will actually open up across the center allowing us for easier access up to the top. You'll see there if we do open it here it will open up so that what we'll do later is place a couple of ramps and we're able to walk right up onto the platform itself. Now what we're going to be using this hatch frame for is actually where we're going to be keeping our dino, in this case our ankylosaur, so that we're able to mine. The hatch frame gives us a little bit further of an area that we can put our ankylosaur out onto this square here. You'd normally not be able to achieve with a normal platform, but the hatch frame allows you to go out a little bit further. So then what we're going to do is go ahead and add a couple of ceilings here, a couple of walls in the back, and give ourselves a little pocket. Um, in this pocket, you can put things like a Lystrosaur, uh, you can put a storage box, or you know you can just use it as a way to carry another player or two. Um, it does have an issue where if you do put the Lystrosaur and you, you do push it into a rock, it will fall off, so be a little careful if that's the way that you do choose to do that. We can go ahead and destroy that wall as well if you'd like, and it gives you access to the Quetzal. Um, I personally do like to, to keep that wall there, though, just to give us a little bit of extra protection. And then we'll be able to go ahead and hop back over to our Quetzal platform itself here, and we can go ahead and replace these thatch foundations with our metal foundations now. And that is the simple form of the Harvest Quetzal platform. Um, what I do here to make it a little bit easier to get our dyno up and down, I do add a couple of ramps onto the back all the way down. We can do three down so that it goes straight into the ground. We're able to walk up on the back there. And then up in the front, in case I do drop my Anki, I do add a couple of more ramps here, which creates a scoop, which I'll show you how we're able to use 
in a moment here. But it also allows us to open up the hatch frame and walk right up on top of that. So let's go ahead and go test it out. So I decided to take a, a clip from the side of the mountain instead of a traditional like volcano clip or something a little simpler. I wanted to show that this platform has no issues with the multi-level terrain on the side of the mountains or anything um, that's a little bit more difficult in nature. Uh, this platform works exceptionally well at getting all of the resources from sides of mountains, from the top of mountains, including obsidian and crystal, and it has no issues with any of the resources no matter the height or the angle that you're trying to get them at. The only time you may have issues is say for this example I got a little bit too ambitious with trying to get this crystal and I drove straight into it. I end up pushing the Yankee up onto the back part of the platform which is it's not as big of a deal as it could be but I decided I want to go ahead and replace the Yankee so that I can continue getting the rest of the crystal and obsidian and metal from this mountain. So what I do is I go ahead and turn the platform so that I'm facing the correct angle that I want to pick the Yankee up at and I just pick it up with the ramp here and with this build you're actually able to just go straight down into a rock or even the ground and the Yankee will pop right through the platform there. And that is the build guys, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.